it's March 2015 and finally we're on the last leg of our 214 Wainwright Challenge. We've got 31 to go and today we take on you Barrow. On our trips to the Lake District, Dave and I always like to get just one fell in on the first day, just to break us in, get the cobwebs out of the limbs. Today, we were going to do you Barrow to achieve that goal. However, what we didn't realise is that you Barrow is more of a challenge than we first thought. The conditions today, though a little bit cloudy and misty, were perfect. very quickly discovered that this was not going to be the easy day we had planned, realising early on that our rusty old limbs were going to get quite a workout today. One of the key benefits of climbing U Barrow, apart from the obvious exercise, are the spectacular views of the Scarfell Range. And today, Scarfell and Scarfell Pike were on view, even in these conditions, and it was with great joy that we suddenly saw the snow capped summit suddenly appear through the cloud.
Lingbell, Scarfell Pike and Scarfell with slight side there. Burnmore Tarn and there's Ilgill Head and Wynn Rig. Right, here we are, our first fell of 2015, U Barrow. Enjoy that, Dave? What? Enjoy what? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, yeah. I stopped for a drink, Dave. You know, two drinks I've had. Two drinks, yeah. Well, I enjoyed them. <laughs> anyway. You got a bang again? Bang again. <laughs> Well done, our first fell of 2015 New Barrow. Very nice. Fantastic views up there, man, isn't it? Absolutely yeah. fantastic. Better than Re November. Yeah. Red Pike and uh, Pillar, Kirkfell, Great Gable, Lingmill, Scarfells, Scarfell Pike and Scarfell, slight side. And there's Burnmore Tarn. Hill Girl Head and Wind Rig. And there's West Water. And we're off over there tomorrow. Middle Fell, Sea Talon, and down between the two of them, Buck Barrow. Looking forward to it. Now a few people have said to me, why don't you try the old selfie on a pole stuff while you're walking around, like Gary Fisher for example. So this is all your fault, okay? I'm no good at this selfie lark, I tell you. <laughs> The North Cairn, the Burkitt of U Barrow. Nice one, mate. High five. Go bag it. Go bag it? Yeah. Well done. Well done. Some fantastic views around here. Pillar and Scope Fell.
steeple obviously in the background there somewhere and red pike and then over the background there you can just make out Haycock and there's Sea Talon, Middle Fell and round here once again fantastic slight side Scarfell, Scarfell Pike highest mountain in England and Lingmel Great End and with Dave in the foreground there's Great Gable and Kirk Fell absolutely superb views from this fell in Barrow time to drop down now down to Doorhead and back to home at Birthweight Farm where we'd rather be If you haven't done New Barrow before and you're planning on doing it and dropping down Doorhead, do prepare yourself for quite a sheer drop down some very difficult rock climbing. It's good fun, but you need to be a bit flexible. <laughs> After what can only be described as a very interesting drop down to Doorhead, we now enjoy a much gentler descent back down to Overbeck Bridge. However, as we neared the end of our walk, Dave, having thought he'd got away with it, was suddenly engulfed by a muscle spasm, terrible cramps that he gets in his legs that I've known him to actually faint from. For me, it makes his achievements even more amazing. Very pleased to say that Dave doesn't suffer any more of these for the rest of our trip. So if you want to watch us slowly but surely achieving our goal of doing the 214 Wainwrights, stick with us, there'll be some more videos to follow. <laughs> 